Gentleman from Texas, Mr. Green, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank the witnesses as well. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I've been here long enough to remember when the contention was that QE was going to create runaway inflation. Uh, the contention now seems to be that QE has been the reason for our not having uh, the inflation that we have targeted. I can also remember when uh, we had this theory presented to us of expansionary fiscal contraction. And that expansionary fiscal contraction was going to be the means by which we would save the world. Well, let's just examine uh, some of this, and I'd like to talk to Mr. Bernstein, if I may. Mr. Bernstein, expansionary fiscal contraction contemplates layoffs, uh, contemplates cuts, and uh, to a certain extent does not allow for the infrastructure projects needed at a time when uh, the country could afford them, uh, when interest rates were low, didn't allow for that. And my friends who were pushing expansionary fiscal contraction don't seem to think that that has an impact on economic uh, policies that are perpetuated, perpetrated, if you will, by the Fed. Uh, these things work hand in hand. So, Mr. Bernstein, if you would, talk for just a moment about how the uh, impact of uh, expansionary fiscal contraction, to the extent that my colleagues have engaged in it, and they've done everything that they can, it seems to me, to cut and gut. Uh, the infrastructure programs haven't come online. Uh, would you talk for just a moment about it, please? So what you're calling you know, expansionary fiscal contraction, I called austerity measures. Uh, and in fact, uh, aptly uh, described, these would be contractionary fiscal measures. Uh, simply by be definition, an increase in government spending increases GDP. That's arithmetic. However, there are many moving parts. And the Federal Reserve, if they believe the economy is uh, uh, too uh, close to full employment, will offset uh, fiscal stimulus uh, at, at times uh, like that. The quote that I presented in my written and spoken testimony was Ben Bernanke coming to this body uh, a few years ago when the expansion uh, was uh, proceeding at too slow a pace, saying uh, not only will the Federal Reserve not increase interest rates to offset fiscal stimulus, but it views it as complementary. We've seen in Europe the damage that fiscal austerity has done uh, to growth when the pivot to uh, deficit uh, consolidation has occurred too soon, and we've seen it in this country uh, as well. It's one of the reasons why it took so long for the output gap uh, to close, and in fact it's barely closed now, eight years into the expansion. And if you would, uh, explain to us some of the things that could have been done that would have complemented the QE of the Fed. Uh, I think the, the most important types of uh, uh, fiscal uh, complements would have been in the area of uh, uh, infrastructure investment, uh, increased uh, unemployment insurance compensation at a time when the job market uh, wasn't where it is now, when the job market uh, was still uh, uh, having trouble uh, closing in on full employment. Um, and uh, I thought the payroll tax holiday, uh, the, uh, as I show in my testimony, I have a, a graphic of the impact of GDP, shaved about one and a half points uh, off GDP in 2013 by prematurely uh, ending what we call the payroll tax holiday. I do want to make one quick other point, if I might, uh, which is that there's been a considerable amount of criticism of some of the work that the Federal Reserve was doing in this period. Um, Eric said earlier something to the, uh, I mean, George said something early to, to, to the, uh, uh, the, the, the Fed had an increased footprint in the credit system. Well, in 2008, and I, I often think that we do have some economic amnesia around these points, the credit system was uh, completely shut down. Uh, if you would, let me just assist you with this. It was shut down to the extent that banks wouldn't lend to each other. So That's pretty significant. The Federal Reserve uh, it, it, it simply was uh, manifesting its role of lender of, of last resort in the way that the Congress created it precisely to do so. Now, we can have arguments about how quickly they've unwound. I thought it was interesting to hear Mickey say that the housing market is booming and then be so critical of the MBS program. There's no question, either in my mind or in the research uh, that I'd be happy to share with the committee, that those two uh, uh, phenomena are related. Let me make one quick point. Uh, we've had uh, CEO salaries to increase greatly. Last year, the number one person on the top 10 CEO, CEOs in terms of salaries 
uh, had about $98 million as a salary, 499% um, increase. Question for you, increasing the minimum wage, the impact of that, please, on the economy. Quick, um, quick answer, the time has expired, so quick answer. Okay, moderate increases in the minimum wage consistently have their intended effect of boosting the earnings of low-wage labor, diminishing the inequality you're talking about uh, without uh, a substantial job loss effects. Thank you, Mr.